previously. Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria and when we last left off we had the end days which we'll talk about later and we did some other stuff which we'll also talk about later in the meantime while I was sorting out the hole you know a little protective walkway over it uh, the traveling merchant arrived so let's go and visit him all the way out here I didn't want to steal that torch well they're back you shop a crimson cloak you know, we don't actually have a crimson cloak, so let's grab up some cash and buy that. Are we going to wear it? More than likely not, but, you know, it's something we don't have, and that's something I like to do. We've got a fish in our fountain. I don't know if you saw that. I'll show you guys it when I go back. Give me that thing. Can I wear it? I have to take my shoes off, though. And apparently... Oh, wait. Hang on. There we go. That's horrible. There's the fish. We've got two of them in there. Uh, that cloak is... It's like I'm wearing a... It's like... I'm a, I'm a young teenage girl and my boyfriend has put their jacket around me to keep me warm. That's what that looks like. Alright, let's put this away. It is technically an accessory, so it should go in the accessories thing, but... Uh, I don't, I guess it's going to go in here. I don't know what to do with that. Uh, so, uh, with it being a brand new day, the first thing we should absolutely do is put these fish in the bin. Speaking of fish, it's talk to the angler and see what he wants us to do. Uh, a wyvern tail. Catch it up high. Do we have any high? I think we made a high up fishing ground, right? Did that one work? I think that one did work. So we've got to like our, the desert, hello desert, and then uh, go fishing there. We might just be able to catch one of those fish, turn that in for the quest complete, and that will get us ever closer, ever closer to whatever the heck we want to do. Uh, give me that. I don't think we'll need a fishing power potion or anything of the kind, but we should probably take, like, I don't know, five of these fireflies. And then let's get dressed, get our fishing rod on, and then we can... <gasps> now we have a worm to go fishing with, too. It's fated. It is absolutely fated for us to succeed in this. We, f we saw fish in our fountain. We found a worm. It's like it was preordained. Is this our desert? No, wait. It's after we leap off. Epically. Uh, it's just here. Yeah, so the... No, wait, wait, wait. Should be all the way up here. There we go. And I remember we sort of dug this out before. Now it is hallowed. I hope that isn't a problem. But yeah, let's, let's bring out our tornado, our sharknado to help. And then... Let's catch some fish. If we're lucky, might even just get it on the first go, like much like we did with the last fish. Not the last one we caught, but the um, last quest fish we needed. I keep thinking it's like Minecraft, and you have to wait for it to go down under the water, which you absolutely don't. Just as soon as it starts bobbing around, you pull it in. That's just a bass. Regular old bass. We should actually do a couple of things. Uh, number one, I want to go and craft up a bunch of sonar potions because I just seen them see them being massively useful not that far how do we get a good cast that's a good cast I like that cast because it would tell us you know for an old shoe if we're pulling up the correct stuff in fact it'll tell us whatever we're pulling up so it's not a problem but it's definitely going to help us when we want to go hey we did it Perfect, let's go home. Quest complete. Look at us. Look at us. Powering through. Ivan. <gasps> we got something. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like it could be good for us. A fish hook. What is that? It doesn't actually say. 
Oh, I mean, I say all. It's good in the terms of it may not actually be good, but it's something we don't have which is actually good for us. Can I fire this dead up? Right, so its range isn't that impressive, but... It's something we don't have looking at. Is a fish... Is a fish on a hook? Let's see the fish at the end of it, look. <gasps> There's a fish walking towards our base. Yeah, you, you know better, don't you even think about coming closer? I've got my skull watching you. My flaming skull. I warned you. I warned you. I absolutely warned him, you can't say I didn't. So the, uh, the fish hook is something that we don't need and we're actually going to go and put away somewhere. But you know, we have it. That's important. I was hoping it was going to be uh, something like an accessory to make us better at fishing. Sadly, uh, we cannot win them all. So actually what we need to do right on our oh my goodness hello worms put those away we're gonna ride over to our underwater base go and we can actually we'll stop off at the the uh, I always want to call it a Chinese restaurant it's not a Chinese restaurant I can't ruin but the brains escaped me my brains escape. Ah, oh, there's an arch wyvern chasing us. Wow. What's that? Can we outrun it? It's probably going to catch up. I fully imagine it is going to catch up. Here we go. What is this place? It's not a Chinese restaurant. East, it's like an Eastern inspired restaurant, maybe. Right. Fish. Where's my fish barrel? There we go. And then we do actually want to continue on our journey. I don't know if this is going to have the... Oh, it just about sent us far enough. Right, and then to our base, we can put away the fish hook in our hook chest. is where we are storing all of our hooks. And as far as I can tell then, we've got all the hooks. And I say that purely because I thought we already had them all. And then we found this one. So, yeah... Weapons, that's tools. There's our hook chest. Ah, I do need to reorganize these a little bit. It should go like that, I think. Cool, right, let's go home. All done. We even found a Nimbus rod that we can sell to Walter. Let me in. Walter, my good friend, would you like to buy this? There you go. Right. Uh, money away. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to do something you may uh, fully expect, and that is we're going to go fight some planteras. But, first of all, we check down here. There is a plantera in our plantera hole. So that's always going to be the first stop, is that one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to track down that one here that was surrounded by torches that we found during end days. The one that almost seems like it was foretold to contain the axe. That is the one. I always forget about this place here, look. Sorry, I interrupted myself there. This little negative altar look. It's all white because we painted it in negative paint. So it like, stands out from the the red because we painted the grass red look. Like a white altar and a red grass. I think that's pretty pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, go down to our, our place. Uh, fight Plantera. While we fight Plantera, I can talk about other stuff. Uh, I should also equip stuff that makes me not die. So the, uh, the first thing that I just want to talk about is Endes. Uh, and I want to say just how proud I am of you guys. The amount of you that actually followed my instructions and went and subscribed to Loot Games and Surix Plays. Honestly, that makes me really, really happy that we've got this level of support within our community that we're going to support other YouTubers. Uh, and that's something I want to continue. So obviously, uh, I'm sort of recommending two YouTubers per month. So there'll be two new YouTubers uh, shortly. Hopefully you guys can show them just as much love. And you no, know we're going to make YouTube a better place. Plantera, come up here where I can fight you. Stop trying to go off screen. So yeah, um, I'm really happy. And you guys 
Hang on, I'm gonna wait wait till we see what we get before I start ranting. Got a furious, furious pygmy staff. Uh but we don't care. Right, put our wings back on. Let's get out of here. I need that please. Thank you. Equip that. Equip that. Right. Uh quickly head off to the jungle. Uh yeah, what I was going to say was that uh, it makes me it makes me happy to see the fact that you guys followed my instructions and supported Loot Games of Surix. And I, I know I kind of forced this upon you, and I, I apologize because I have been supporting them both you not know, all month essentially. Uh, but I did kind of put a bit more forcefulness in this one because I did say that if you wanted to help me out with end days, you needed to. Uh, subscribe to Loop Games and Sonic's Plays. So, I'm just going to reiterate, if you have ideas for solving the riddle for on episode 1 of End Days, which if you haven't seen, you should go and watch it. If you have any ideas on how to solve that, don't leave them in this video. Leave them on the End Days video, because then on Friday, when I end up recording End Days for Saturday, I will go back and I'll review all of your answers and see who is right and like give you credit in in game and stuff like that but just remember like I said I did kind of force you to subscribe to look games of sucks players by including the caveat that I will only accept answers to the riddle from people who have subscribed to Surix and Luke so yeah if you wanna if you've left me an answer but you haven't subscribed to them I'm sorry I'm not going to accept it but, uh oh, Ibrahim is gone. Um, but if you go back there now uh, and you subscribe to them, I will gi I'll give you a little comment, a love heart. And if your comment has a love heart, that means I've accepted it. I have looked and you have definitely subscribed to both of them and commented on their videos. And I will accept your answer to the riddle, if it is, in fact, correct. But otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of how, how you guys responded to that. And uh, just support, because uh, one thing I've noticed is that a lot of YouTubers, and this is no disrespect to any of them at all, is they have, uh, they're referred to the subscribers like an army, which is fine. There's, there's no problem with that. But I prefer to think of us as like a family, as a community. And as a family and as a community, we should always be striving to extend that family and extend the community. Which is why I, I feel like we should be supporting uh, YouTubers who may not necessarily be doing as as well as my channel is. I mean, my channel is not fantastic. I don't have 100,000 subscribers yet. But you know what? Um, if, if we can help out some of the subscribers to uh, just give them a little bit of exposure, you know? To um, make you guys aware of them. Maybe you guys will like them more than you like me, and then maybe you'll recommend them to your friends, and maybe they'll become super popular and end up hitting 100,000 subscribers before I do. All right, here is the foretold Plantera with the four torches. Uh, let's let's do this and hope for. If this doesn't give me the axe, then then I'm going bonkers and bananas, and uh, several other types of B word and fruit. Is there another fruit that begins with B? A blue, blueberry? No, that's a berry. Blueberries aren't fruit. Berries are berries. Don't, don't make that mistake. And strawberries are not berries. Strawberries are something else, but I forget the name of it. Uh, what did we get? I didn't even see. Uh, it wasn't the axe. Don't know why I got excited. Uh, are there any other Plantera bulbs nearby? Because it's about time we ended the episode. we still have got a couple of minutes to go, though, before I should. So if we can find another Plantera. Than... Oh, there's one. Dead below us. It's a bit of a, a bit of a drop down. We might dig our way down to it. Oh, can I fly? No. no. There we go. Now I can. So we may just like dig our way down if that's the way it ends up being. 
It does seem we can... No, I don't think we should have to. We can fall most of the way. Yeah, because I set all this up, didn't I? I remember. And then there's like a, a big gap style thing that we can fly across through. And then we just teleport like in... I think it was on this level. Oh, one level below. It's going to take a bit of damage to teleport down. Can I teleport, please? There we go. A little bit lower on HP than I want, but, you know, we've got a Plantera here. We'll fight that, and that's probably going to be most of the Planteras. I might come back to fight some more on, for example, Thursday or Friday, once some more have spawned in. But for the next couple of episodes, there, would, there shouldn't be any Planteras, basically. So we shouldn't be able to fight any. Oh, my voice is going. I've recorded so much. Oh, last night, you guys. Last night. It got to about midnight. And I thought, I don't need to record anything right now. But I should. So I was like, you know what? I'll record some Minecraft. I've got enough Minecraft for the rest of the week. But I'll, I'll record some anyway because I just feel like doing it. Uh, and I sat and I recorded for an hour. Uh, and turns out I didn't actually push record. I recorded all of my audio, so there's like 54 minutes of me talking nonsense, but there's no video to go along with it. Uh, luckily, I didn't do all that much. Am I going to die? Luckily, I didn't do all that much, so I can easily redo it on camera to show you guys, but otherwise, it's just more annoying to me that I uh, put my throat through all that. What's hitting me? Put my throat through all that exercise. Because my throat is not exactly in the best position right now. I'm recording so much stuff. It's getting ridiculous. It's like Isaac videos can go to like be an hour and beyond sometimes. But at least half an hour. Minecraft is like 20 minutes to half an hour. Sometimes up to 40 minutes. Minecraft, ironically, is the only thing that's uh, shorter episodes. Right, there's one there. I'm going to do that one before we leave. Right, so it's down near the big lava. So, yeah, we can, we can get to that fairly quickly. That means this episode is going to be longer as well. I was saying how this is ironically shorter, but now it's ironically longer. Do I not have any torches around here? I thought I'd lit the place up like a candle. So we can go, yeah, through here and then down here. Once we see lava, we're pretty much there. We should be able to see where the bulb is. So it should be, like, here somewhere, right? Yeah, there it is. Last one, I promise. And then we add Dion on Planteras. Quick that. How is our health? Not good. We are going to die to Plantera. We are absolutely going to have to Plantera, so we're going to have to actually not just try and tank this, but play play like a good player and dodge. No more same old, same old. No more just outrunning, uh, outrunning the damage. Is a turtle here? Did the turtle drop me a heart? He did. It's not enough. It's not enough! <gasps> Did it, we got some HP. We found like an old abandoned camp. That was really close, I shouldn't have stacked. Traps. Traps. Right, what did we get? Just so much crap. Honestly, it's redonkulous. Right, I don't know what time it is, but Walter, please buy my stuff and please don't allow my... I want to buy those back. Please don't let my base get invaded. Uh, I want those back, please. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. I appreciate it. Why do I care about money at this point? I don't know. It's probably better than just throwing, throwing these items away, I guess. Uh, five of those should go in here. Ah, now, someone did ask me to actually count up how many temple keys I have. So, I put those in here. So, as you can see, we have 122 temple... Two, 222 temple keys. 
the odds of a the axe dropping are 1 in 200. So as you can see, we've definitely done over 200. We do have more kills than this though, because I've definitely used some of these keys to aircraft um, biome keys to the biome chests, as you can see. Uh, and B, enter the Lazard Temple in several worlds before we got our pickaxe and we had to, you know, could mine our way in. And then I think we threw away a bunch, so we're probably approaching like 300. Definitely 250. Give me those worms. Also, throw away that fish. If I can get across my inventory to it. Right, and that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow for another episode of this. Get out my base. For another episode, another episode of this, of Terraria. And tomorrow is Dark Souls. Today is Minecraft. For now, though, thank you for watching. Goodbye.